Hey there, welcome to the Morning Brief. I'm Chad Asty. Hope you're having a great day out there. Be sure to tune in to the Chad Asty Show weekday mornings 830 to 11 on News Talk 790 KFYO and streaming online at KFYO.com and subscribe to our KFYO YouTube channel right below. A big night for Donald Trump in New Hampshire as he came in first place among the Republican candidates. Obviously a big night for Bernie Sanders as well as he clobbered Hillary Clinton in New Hampshire. But taking a look back at the Republicans, uh, it was expected that Donald Trump would win. He did. It was a big night for him. He came out, gave, uh, gave a uh, pretty good, uh, nice short uh, speech last night, uh, his, his victory speech. Uh, over the rest of the Republicans, uh, maybe something that uh, other candidates can learn, uh, that if you win a state, go out, give a nice, short, uh, clean, uh, nice little message, and then exit the stage so we can move on to uh, some other people or move on to other coverage out there. Obviously, a good night for John Kasich as well. He put all of his eggs into the New Hampshire basket. Uh, he should have done well. It was a terrible night for Marco Rubio, as Marco Rubio fell into fifth place behind Jeb Bush in New Hampshire. Marco Rubio, I will give him credit, he owned up to uh, his poor debate performance, or at least that one moment in the debate uh, that uh, everyone has been talking about, about how he's robotic. I don't really buy into that. I think it was really overblown by the media. But Chris Christie really went after Rubio uh, and, well, I think contributed uh, to Rubio's collapse in New Hampshire. I mean, we were heading towards uh, a possible battle for even first place between Marco Rubio and Donald Trump in New Hampshire before Saturday night's debate. And then you look at the results last night, it doesn't look like Marco Rubio will get any delegates out of the state of New Hampshire. If he does, it'll maybe only be one or two. Uh, But as of right now, according to CNN, he will not get any delegates. Uh, And according to Fox as well, he will not get any delegates out of New Hampshire. So a a terrible night uh, for Team Rubio out there. I know there are some apologists who are saying, oh, it's not that bad. It is bad. Uh, He went from second place to fifth place. Jeb Bush surpassed him. Uh, John Kasich surpassed him. And let's not forget about Ted Cruz, a huge, huge night for Ted Cruz. If you go back to Iowa, there were uh, many in the media who were praising Marco Rubio for finishing third uh, and a strong third, and I'm, I was among them, uh, who supported uh, and praised Rubio in, uh, for uh, his third-place finish in Iowa. You look at Ted Cruz, uh, a state that Ted Cruz is not supposed to do well in. Uh, Ted Cruz was probably supposed to finish in fifth place in uh, in New Hampshire. He finished in third place, third place uh, in New Hampshire, a conservative Republican, uh, far right wing uh, for some of those out there, conservative Republican finishing third place in New Hampshire. That is huge. I think it is a huge, huge night uh, or was a huge night for Ted Cruz. I think it gives him a ton of momentum today going into South Carolina. Uh, I think it sets up a huge race in South Carolina between Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, uh, as maybe Rubio's last gasp uh, that is out there. Why? Because if he doesn't win South Carolina, or at least come in second in South Carolina, I'm not sure which state he wins. Uh, you know, his team now says that he doesn't have to win South Carolina. Eventually, you have to win a state. Uh, you can't just let Ted Cruz and Donald Trump win all of these states. If you're Marco Rubio, you have to win a state. And right now, uh, it's it's pretty iffy for him. Uh, we could be heading towards a Cruz versus Trump election to see who gets the Republican nomination with uh, Marco Rubio and his poor performance in New Hampshire uh, really hurting his campaign. We'll see what happens, but a big, big night for Ted Cruz, a big night for Donald Trump, an expected big night for Donald Trump, and a uh, big night also for John Kasich. Don't want to take anything away from him, but I just don't see how John Kasich actually uh, goes down the path to the nomination. I, I really don't see it, uh, but he could set himself up for a pretty strong VP nod. Uh, in the future. Tune in to the Chad Hasty Show weekday mornings 830 to 11 on News Talk 790 KFYO, streaming online at KFYO.com, and follow me on Twitter, Chad Hasty Radio. That's Chad Hasty Radio on Twitter. And don't forget, subscribe to the KFYO YouTube page below. That way you'll know whenever we upload new morning briefs, and also uh, when you'll know when we upload interviews from the show. Have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.